Long time no see. I have been gone for a little minute, but I'm back. Oh, I'm back and I'm better. You don't need this. Okay. Long time no see, and we are back. I'm back with my baby. I'm back with my baby. And today we're going to be talking about his cradle cap journey because he went from ball to this okay now he got some hair he got some in i can pull it i could probably put it i could probably put it in the ponytail Ooh, look at that we can make a little ponytail but he don't be liking me touches touching his hair i'll probably have to start doing his hair while he's free but yeah i'm gonna be showing y'all everything that i use and how i got his hair from really thin like the cradle cat took all his hair out and then i kind of was a problem too because i was scratching it out like all the flakes and stuff so i was scratching it out and his hair was coming along with the flakes so it was pretty bad we went from this to that this is like kind of where his hair is now so we got some hair now compared to what we we had little thin lines okay so that first picture that i showed y'all that was back in february of this year february of 2024 that was kind of my fault because I was told to get rid of the cradle cap and I was getting rid of his hair and didn't realize until it was too late. So February, looking like that, very thin, no strands. I'm also, I'm also put a picture up on the screen too so y'all can see. But February, um, that was February 26th, so the end of February, that's what his hair was looking like. And um, once I realized, okay, I pulled out his hair. I started doing things different. Some of the products that I was using to help with his cradle cap was the Old Crap Cradle Cap Flake Fixer Scalp Spray. That's a tongue twister. The um, spray and the shampoo. So I was using these two things. Um, I was using this before, but I was combing his hair while the shampoo was in there don't do that don't do that okay and then when you spray this in there just spray it brush it and leave it don't touch it okay i was touching it before so when after february i started using these products the right way and i wasn't touching his hair no more so it was starting to grow this is how much hair we got in march and you see we got a little bit more going on and um a product i added back in march was the olive oil you can use any type of olive oil i'm using the great value i put that on his scalp every other day just rub it in like massage it in he lets me do that and then i brush it down i put some water on it brush it down and then he goes on about his day so march we started to see a little bit of results from that so i kept doing it i kept doing what was working for me because it was growing his hair so let's go to April. Um, it was kind of hard for me to get a picture in April. So I got one in the beginning of May, but we we had a head, we had a head full of hair, okay? It was slicked down nice, okay, it was starting to get fuller, looking good, okay, back in um April, May. In the May, we were, you know, still I didn't get the size and stuff, but it was growing. I'm still slicking it down. June, we were here where I was slicking it down and then like he had little curls that wouldn't slick all the way down because he had too much hair. He had too much hair like his mama, okay? You got hair like your mama. <laughs> but yeah, it was starting to curl up and kind of get to where we got now. And that was in June. And um, the 4th of July, yeah, he, he had his curls. He was curled up, yeah, he was good. And now we're in August. We are in August. And this is where, this is where we are in August. So let's do a 360. Oh, oh. <laughs> so this is where we are in August. Okay, yes, yes, show them that hair, boy. Shut him that hair, okay? Look down, look down, yeah. 
okay? We got that boy being her back, okay? So I say probably by the time he's one, a, a lot of the gaps are being filled in. That's two months from now, so a lot of those gaps will be filled in. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm glad I got his hair back to how it was back on his scalp. I can't believe I pulled it out. It was my fault. I took full accountability for pulling out his hair with the clear cut. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I gotta put dinner on and make this jambalaya real quick for me and baby. He got some pasta and meat sauce right now and he's eating his little cheese puffs, so <laughs> we don't play about his snacks. So I'm about to be a mommy real quick, go cook dinner and uh, turn on his show because I literally just came home and it was like, I gotta record something. I'm tired of holding it off, holding it off. I gotta get something out there. So this video is going up tomorrow. I literally feel it, filming this on a Thursday. It's going up on a Friday. And um, I'm gonna also post a video on my TikTok. I'm not sure what, but a TikTok video will be coming up soon. Something beauty related, okay? Something beauty related for sure but thank y'all so much for watching if y'all have any questions about anything or any products i use where i got them from how much they were just let me know in the comments and i definitely will respond um and don't forget to like the video and subscribe thank y'all so much for watching bye bye say bye 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 bye